Brand and and Cooper make it off, and yeah. then they slingshot around the black hole, and mm-hmm. they quote Newton's laws in order to justify why Cooper has to leave. Uh, let's watch it. We'll see. Commander one, First off. prepare to detach. Mark. Detach. Okay, they get rid of Tars. Goodbye, Tars. Yeah. Goodbye, Doctor Brand. He's gonna drop into the black hole, send out messages. Mm-hmm. They ran out of fuel. Ranger 2, prepare to detach. What? No! No! Newton's third law. You gotta leave something behind. <laughs> Don't. Detach. Okay. I felt so, her. So, she was getting left. She's now on yeah. the mission alone. On the mission alone, yeah. Why, why was that wrong? Newton's laws are in force, right? In force, that's fun. Yeah, so so they say Newton's third law. In order to go forward, you got to leave something behind, which is which is right. Right. Mm-hmm. So you you push something, and then when it goes away, you go the opposite direction. Okay. Um, that makes a lot of sense for rocket propulsion. Like your rocket's going up. In order to do that, you have to push gas down. Okay. But that's not what happens here. So let's watch the detach. Okay. The, the detach is just a disconnect. There's no like there's no like ranger pushing. No, the ranger's not uh, pushing the ship forward. And then therefore the ranger gets pushed back. The ship gets pushed forward. Um, what we're seeing is the ranger just gets disconnected. And then when we see a little bit further, mm-hmm. we see the ranger. The ranger's falling towards the black hole. Yep. Makes sense. And the endurance is leaving the ranger behind because it has rockets. Mm-hmm. Yep. So this isn't Newton's third law. Newton's third law is... For every action, there is a reaction that has the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction. So, yep. so if I push the wall, the wall pushes me, and that's why I bounce backwards. This is this is not that. The, the ranger's not pushing against the endurance. This is Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. Mm-hmm. And so by reducing the mass that the endurance has to lug with it, then it, for the given amount of force, which is whatever the engines can supply, then it can get a better acceleration. It can get away fast, faster. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what it should have been. Should have been Newton's second law, right? So Newton's third law is in force with the engines on, but right. they're just dumping we, mass. This is not Newton's third law. Yeah. Exactly right. Which is which. This is a weird moment to me because I was like, it, like it, it caught my attention because for a movie that's they like the writers' room did a lot of research. Like they, they, mm-hmm. a lot of this stuff uh, in the science in this film mm-hmm. like dialed in nice and tight, like exactly how mm-hmm. it would happen. Right. Um, but this one is like a first year undergraduate. High school as well. Um, introductory physics. It's weird that they got this one wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Because it's it's also a quick fix. It's like third law, second law, quick look up. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. My my brain when I watched Oops. it, my brain just fixed it. I was like, they're dropping mass. Done. Right. Making go faster. But but it's actually Newton's third law isn't the relevant one. It's Not the relevant law. to this second law. Yeah. In fact, this is why we do staging in rockets. Reduce the mass. So that the thrust makes higher acceleration. Staging means like you have this big old tall rocket structure, mm-hmm. and the bottom is like your first engine is sends you up, and then yeah. when that's out of fuel, you like get rid of it. Get rid of it. Drop second engine. Mass. I see. The second engine only has to push the second engine's worth of mass. That's right. That engine. Yeah. It's done already. Yeah. And that's an F equals ma principle, not a action reaction principle. Hmm. I like. It. That's a good catch. Super cool though. Mm. So we here we see this is the endurance, like the ring, and we're seeing the black hole gargantua down here. Um, yep. I guess let's let's see what is this. It's a black hole in the middle. Yep, black hole. There it is. This ring here looks like mm-hmm. an accretion disk. Yep. Accretion is when when a black hole. I guess also stars do this too. When they come upon other mass in their so their star mm-hmm. system, they will also like grab it and pull it in through the gravitational uh, force and pull it in. And so out here, this look, this is so nicely done. Out here, it's just dust, a little dark stuff, mm-hmm. not producing light. I mean, you can see it there, yeah, but it's like dark and dim. And then as it gets pulled in closer, it gets pulled in faster, 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 tighter, tighter, tighter as it goes around the ring. Mm-hmm. And so as the gas density, the, the particles, the dust gets closer, 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 friction gets hotter and it gets bright. This is, this is perfect. This is exactly what mm-hmm. an accretion dish should look like. Yep. Uh, what's going on up here though? So my understanding of this is I don't, I don't understand GR general relativity super well, 
But I think near the black hole, the accretion disk is, is a 2D disk, like a ring of Saturn. But hmm. space is so warped near the event horizon of the black hole, near the surface of the black hole, that we're actually seeing the disk behind the black hole, the light's being bent up and over and into our eyes. So ah. we're actually seeing the, the on both on top and bottom, the backside of the disk. I see what you're saying. This is this interesting shape that's to it. Sick. That's, yeah, okay, so this, is, this is exactly right. So just like so just like um like gravitational lensing. So if you look mm -hmm. at a nearby galaxy, uh, you may see a far by far galaxy mm -hmm. behind it. Now it should be blocked because it's like a line of sight, right? But no, no, no. The nearby galaxy bends space time mm -hmm. so that you see an entire ring of stuff behind in the background. In fact, if you can get a perfect, a perfect lineup of a nearby, if here's Earth and here's a nearby galaxy, here's a far by a far away galaxy, you can get a perfect lined up. You get an Einstein ring. An Einstein ring is like you get a dark spot with a perfectly lit up galaxy behind it. And okay. so what we're saying here, I'll just repeat what you said. You get an accretion disk, and the accretion disk forms in a two D plane, just like just like Saturn's mm -hmm. rings and, Ju and Jupiter's mm -hmm. rings, also and Neptune's rings. They all form in a disk. And so, really, we should be seeing a disk, but because of the of the of the black hole right in the middle, we're getting mm -hmm. curved space time, which actually means we're seeing we're getting images, we're getting we're getting mm -hmm. light curve from the back side of this disk. Yeah. I think the way sick. they calculate this, this is they like if if light is emitted from the disk. Mm -hmm. Right. It, instead of going straight, it'll get bent around. It follows. It, goes, the, it follows the space time. The space time is curved. The, the space space time is curved. So it looks like an image of the disk because the light is bent so much, and that happens on the bottom side too. Ah, oh, so good. It's so, so weird. Good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> they did. The writers did their their homework. So yeah, good. so good. This is weird though. As far as I understand, the accretion disk is like a wash with x-rays and alpha particles oh, right. and plasma and charged particles. Right. I don't know if a human can survive like a minute. I don't think so. In this so so anytime you get a charged particle that curves, mm -hmm. you get and you get a radiation that shoots out. Mm -hmm. And so all this this disk is just charged particles curving mm -hmm. curving, getting smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it should be just blasted the radiation. Right. Um, I guess it could be. Sh are dead. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if there's any shielding that could overcome. Yeah. <laughs> not like that. Not like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're dead for sure. So cool. So cool though. Super cool. But dead. Super cool. Yeah, but dead. Well, they're not dead. They survived. It's okay. Yeah, they'll survive for a little bit. <laughs> okay. 